Hi, this is Dave from Steel City Jones Flight Academy, along with Michael McVeigh from Florida Drone Supply. And we are both here to help educate our current customers and our future customers about the M200, the 210, and the 210RTK systems capabilities in the rain. You know, DGI has some really sexy videos of this flying in the rain, and mm -hmm. a lot of people automatically think that you can just basically put this out in a downpour and you're covered. Now, there's a big distinction here between waterproof, water resistance, and to what level of water resistance this has. So, you know, this has been out now for a while and we kind of really have seen what it can do, what it can't do. We've had some customers have some problems. So, we want to talk about a, you know, a lot of different things about the ratings and what we can also do to give us some further protection. So, Michael, why don't we start off with saying, talk about how DJI, you know, basically this has an IP rating of IP43. Correct. Let's talk a little bit about that first, and we'll just work our way down the rabbit hole a little at a time. Yep, so the IP rating, there's two numbers. This one is 43. The four and the three both have a different significance. One is the angle that the water can be coming in at, and the other one is the size of the particle that could possibly intrude through a seal, through an opening of any type. So 43 means that it's fairly weather resistant if the water isn't coming in at too steep of an angle and the particles are not too small. Right, so what can factor in on the water coming in at a steeper angle would be if you have a get, uh, you're, you're flying into a gusty wind. Yeah. So then the water, that the wind can then blow that water more uh, horizontally. And that's where a lot of people, you know, that, that's where, you know, there's a lot of different science behind this. Yep. We don't want to get, there's no reason to get too, too complicated with, our, with this. If you start flying this thing faster in rain and you have a headwind, you can run into some problems. So what we r highly recommend is if you do need to fly in the rain, that you fly as slowly as possible. Right. Or, and or, um, Michael, you know, guy, you guys came out with a really awesome, innovative solution for added protection. Why don't you tell our clients a little more about that? Yep, we're partnered with a company that makes these for us. It's called the Rain Shield. It snaps right on to the front of your Matrice 200, Matrice 210, or Matrice 210 RTK, and it protects what we believe is the weakest point in the IP43 rating on this aircraft, yeah. and that's the front vent. And that seems to be where most of us are flying forward. If the rain is coming in, you know, it's raining so hard that it's blowing sideways or the aircraft is moving quickly into the rain or at a steep angle into the rain. Yes. All of those things can help let a little bit of water slip through that vent somehow. So this rain shield helps prevent water from entering that vent while still allowing plenty of airflow to get through the vent so we don't lose the functionality of the vent. Which is what it was made for in the first place. Right. Exactly. So, why don't you show our clients how easy this uh, can be taken on and off. Yep. It's just uh, made to fit right on these front covers and it snaps on and off. Just like that. If you look at the back, we've got the slots where the two grooves line up and then it just clips in onto the sides like that. So that's how it comes off and it goes on just as easy. Hey guys, we're back up here in cold, rainy Pittsburgh, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this rain shield to the test. We're gonna put a full battery of TB55s on this thing and fly this around for 23, 24 minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna do it at various speeds and we'll, let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see right now, it's coming down pretty good. I'm about 17 feet high. We're about 16 minutes into the flight. And I'm just flying it around as quickly and fast as I can in all different directions. I'm just gonna go ahead and give a full stick forward and see what happens. That's about 45 miles an hour. And that's gonna come straight back at us. There we go. 
straight back, stick, full stick back in sport mode. Again, I'm just going ahead and doing everything I possibly can so that we would be able to definitely make sure that that air vent would have water inside it without the rain shield. Sport mode from left to right. We're at 25 minutes of flight time and I'm coming in to land. You can see the cover did its job. That cover is definitely protecting that air vent really well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring this up, put it in the back of my vehicle, and then we're going to be able to show you exactly how dry the air vent is. All right, so let's go ahead and take the cover off. And look at that. Air vent is bone dry. Nothing was on there. Look how nice uh, the seal all around it, completely dry, all the way to the very the bottom of it. That air vent is bone dry. Okay, as you can see on that foam right there, that's the top seal. As you can see right there, that top seal has definitely done its job. This cover, the inside of this cover is bone dry. Okay, so that's the test. This worked extremely well. This shield worked fantastic, flawlessly. You can see that air vent is bone dry. This shield, if you need to fly in the rain, this shield is definite must. Thanks guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Michael or myself and we'll be glad to help you out. Thank you.